So when there aren't a lot of special effects, it falls on the actors to provide a lot of the scares. Have you guys developed tricks of the trade? Uh, I don't know. I think when there's when there's not a lot of effects, it makes it easier because you're you're actually even though you know it's being pulled across the floor on a fishing line, uh, you're you're seeing uh, it's it's a little it's a little easier to react to. Um, yeah, I don't know mm. if there are too many, right? Yeah. It's, yeah, in that sense, it's kind of authentic, I suppose, because you right. are trying to just organically react to something. But um, it's hard. Uh, this kind of performance is a specific type because you are uh, doing agree. intense shots of, and you're just it can be it's quite very technical. Heightened, yeah, it's very heightened, melodramatic. It's, yeah, you know, it's like it is a. It's, yeah, it can be tricky. Yeah. You know. <laughs> All good. things relative. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Not, not to we're, like... We're not doing brain surgery. Exactly, we're not... <laughs> in it. You're both part of this uh, like Blumhouse movement to bring back the traditional horror film in a genre overrun by gore. How does that feel? Great. The yeah. easy answer is great. I mean, yeah. I think when we did Insidious, the first one, and, and, uh, and it was obviously a very conscious decision of James and Lise, who had reinvented the genre with Saw, and watch what that spawned, you know, um, good and bad. But um, it was basically, let's go back to something more old school and without any blood, without this, without that, no language, no violence, you know. And so that's, I, I, I like that. I, I, I like not sort of mm, pandering to the lowest common denominator of throwing in, you know, something gross just to think that scares people. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's ridiculous, certainly that kind of violence. So and this keeps in that same tradition. You know, I mean, I'm I'm pretty violent in the movie, but mm. you are. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah, but there's no. But, but there's not but blood we still splatters. Don't have the blood. Yeah, there's no gore or torture. The or language, the stuff. nudity, yeah, violence, yeah, yeah, any yeah. of that it's stuff that usually makes grotesque. things yeah. push the envelope. Well, one of the things I like most about the movie is it had such a sophisticated uh, view of marriage. You know, like you guys are in a really difficult situation, and I think a lot of single people would be like, "You should just leave," you know. <laughs> but you both fight for each other. Right. Uh, how is it portraying that? That so it's still realistic to the audience. Well, James was cool because he used to say to give us this metaphor of it's like it's like he's cheating on you. It's like he's having an affair. He'd like try and ground it in something authentic so that would create this weird, you know, clearly they're off kilter, and it's like right. so that was really good um, in terms of just making us. Because how can you literally imagine what's going, <laughs> what's happening? So that was right. that was really, um, yeah, I thought that was helped helped us, you know. Yeah, and we had a good basis for where the so much of the first film was spent of us trying to keep it together, and you know I think, I think if you did, obviously didn't have that basis for or, or foundation, then it would be difficult to care about these people. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's like yeah. it's it. I mean it's. Obviously, it goes without saying, but you can't have this movie without the. You don't need to see the first movie to see this movie. I I, I believe that, but it it gives us you know having the history of these characters. I think you just get a whole nother level of where they sort of came from, mm. and you know, and are able to go, and you see the lengths that they'll go for each other. The last thing I wanted to ask you is, I'm sure it's a very tense set. How do you relief? How do you make things fun? How do you lighten the mood sometimes? Um. Gosh. Well. She does a lot of magic tricks, uh, <laughs> origami, and a lot of tap dancing. We have dancing. a daily lunchtime yoga. Yes, oh. yoga meditation. Yes. She sings. She, she yodels. I'm doing some yodeling. Would you like to yodel for us? Just doing an Australian <laughs> national anthem. <singing. laughs> what is the Australian national anthem? I'll tell you later. Okay. <laughs>